The Scottish Government want to know what's important to children and young people in Scotland today. Everyone should have someone that loves them. Four of us from Children's Parliament Streets Ahead tonight have been working over the past few weeks to make this wee film. They make you feel small and they make they shout at you. We've been looking at Children's Parliament's film archive from the last 10 years to see if things that were important then are still important now. We are basically writing down things that are good about our teachers and things that we don't like about our teachers. If your teacher's upset, then you might get a little bit agitated and then it might make them even more upset. But then if your teacher's in a good mood, then you'll be in a good mood and then you'll be like excited for things. Instead of shouting out to you and when the whole class hear it, like take it take you to the side by yourself or something. They make you feel small and they make they shout at you and think think that your work's like you below your standard and and when you've maybe had a problem with it or something. Teachers don't listen to you when you're saying, I didn't do that. They just say, Oh right, that's enough. You're just gone too far, you're answering back and I think we should listen to what you have to say. If teachers have a good relationship with the child, then the child will like school and they will actually look forward to it. So if a teacher is like being um, exciting and not boring, then kids that really like have to be going to school. Um, when teachers are kind, it makes me feel happy and just enjoying myself. Yeah, it helps me relax and just know um, that I can get on with it because there's no problem. The next topic we'll be discussing is feeling safe. Most of us live in a very nice place, but unfortunately others don't. If you walk down to my street, you would probably feel a little bit like uh, how I feel because um, there are shops that um, are completely like shut and everything, you know, and like the sman the doors are all smashed and all that and open, and you don't know, you just don't know what's what's in them. Uh, the biggest problem in my area is uh, the noise and the fact that uh, there's loads of fights everywhere. When there's a Celtic and Rangers game on, I feel really, really um, sad and like unsafe because like people come around with bottles and shouting. You just don't want to go out in it, and you just don't want to see it, and no even hear it. You just wish they could get along with each other, even though they're on different teams. He's a Rangers fan, and I'm a Celtic fan, but we're still pals. Celtic, Celtic, Celtic fans and Rangers fans just like hit, hit the boss each other and just start fights and. And why to kill, kill people after it just because you win and it's only a game of football? It's just two rivals with, with men having a kick about a, a football. What's the point in fighting? As I said, it's only a, a game of football. The last section is about bullying and I would just like to make one quick point that uh, adults should take children seriously and remember what it was like to be a child. Bullying makes children feel horrible, abandoned and just left alone. It's like you play with your friends and then suddenly you're just sitting in a corner on your own, they're laughing at you and it's just you feel so abandoned, you feel like no one ever cares about you. It's crazy what one person can do and make you feel. So sometimes when you tell an adult that you're getting bullied, sometimes it makes you feel that you're silly because you're not because they're not doing anything about it and you want something to happen about it because you're worried inside. When I tell an adult something, I want them to try and fix the problem and make things easier for me. They have to listen and respect what you're going to tell them. The last section of this film I think is the most important section because every child needs love. We love them is the it's the most important thing in the whole world that you ever don't be loved. Like if they're not loved, they could feel like nobody really likes them. If you're being loved, 
then your mum loves you, so she'll give you lots of cuddles if you really feel sad. But if you like have a friend who like loves you as a friend, they'll like they'll invite you to like come and play with them. The most important thing in twenty years' time is to be loved. Why, why is that? Um, well, if you're not loved, then why should you be here?